you tell us more about a master's degree in physics, I am joined by final year students pursuing the course at St. Joseph's College in Bangalore. Hi guys, if one of you could tell me what were the decisions that led you to choose physics? Basically physics has so much of provision in your ability to imagine stuff and you can go ahead and have so much fun imagining how things work like in, when you're heating water you can imagine those atoms jingling around, it's a new filter in your eye and imagining that gives all of us a kick out of it and we love to you know learn more to understand how things work. So pursuing a master's course, what, what does the course entail? What do you get to do in terms of research and lab work and things like that? So we basically have uh, the core subjects are like uh, the classical mech, the Q mech, um, you know, you have atomic physics. So basically all the genres in physics are dealt in the MSc program. And whatever we do in theory, as a part of it, we have certain practicals uh, that are taken in our lab classes. Could one of you tell me what are the various branches or specializations that one could look at while pursuing a master's course? So you have nuclear physics, which is a very common one, and there's astrophysics, you have material science, and you could even have just a general physics course like ours here. Most people, once they finish their masters, they tend to look at uh, research, uh, doing your MPhil or PhD or things like that. What are some of the research topics that uh, one could look at if they're pers planning on pursuing one of these courses? So um, there are a lot of fields actually. So in astrophysics, in in that discipline itself, there are a lot of aspects you can, so you can study about a great deal about the stars, our own sun, and you can uh, study about black holes. Still an open question, so there are a lot of scope to, for you to actually contribute some of your thoughts. And so in astrophysics, there are a lot of, and even in a pure quantum mechanical aspect, so since we already know general relativity and quantum mechanics, so there are fields where you try to combine these two and then try to study fundamental physics where you deal with how matter actually, what is matter made of and such. So that, that goes into high energy physics like LHC and so on. So there are a lot of scopes, a lot of, lot of research areas into so these are some of the popular ones. <laughs> so a little bit about uh, internships. How important would you say an internship is uh, to a master's degree in physics and where would you think to intern? Uh, in Bangalore itself, we have many research institutes like IIC and there's Raman Research Institute, there's Indian Institute of Astrophysics. So there's, there's a lot of scope for us to join any of these institutes and they are very open to students like us for uh, internships. And uh, th these internships give us a lot of exposure to how research will, will be, you know, you, in college you are in the hands of teachers and once you go out there, uh, it gives you a feel of how you will be doing research independently. So yeah, it's very helpful. <laughs> what would you say are some of the skills one would require to excel in the field of uh, physics? Because there's a lot of math involved. Would you say that one needs to have an analytical mind, a logical mind? What are your thoughts? You really need to be really good at math. And uh, I guess even more than physics, when you pass through your PU and uh, uh, BSc, you learn more f math than physics because I've, I've realized that when you come to a higher level it's more math than physics but you try to squeeze out what's really there and you try to interpret it and you know so because of that you need to pay a lot of attention to math it's like a language it's not a very hard thing except that you need to work a bit on it but ultimately it is achievable and it's a lot of fun when you get there at the end of the day when you predict something and you see it's there oh wow it happens right so that, that that's there so you should be you should focus a lot on math and uh, knowing computers also helps a lot and because uh, there are a ton of computations and all those things and uh, data analysis that that's that falls under experimental physics astro has a lot of provision for it what would you say uh, is now currently the scope of pure science courses in india specifically uh, the physics course because there's a lot of attention now being given to the commerce courses and uh, other such courses so what are your thoughts on the scope of physics in in india so um See, we are always told that there are two options after you do your MSc. So you either get into teaching or you get into research. But there are uh, industries which hire people who've done MSc in physics. And, uh, but most of us here pref would prefer to go into research. It's not that if you do an MSc in physics, you have to continue doing physics. You can always take up something else. 
फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई एम इंटरेस्टेड इन राइटिंग सो आई कुड प्रोबेबली मूव इन टू समथिंग लाइक साइंस राइटिंग और पॉपुलराइजिंग साइंस सो इट्स इट्स नॉट द एंड ऑफ द रोड और यू नो इट्स नॉट लाइक इफ यू टेक अप एम एस सी इन फिजिक्स यू डू दिस फॉर द रेस्ट ऑफ योर लाइफ यू कुड जस्ट स्टडी इट फॉर अ पैशन एज वेल Well, if you have a curious mind and would like to pursue a course in the field of physics, then I'm sure these tips would have definitely come in handy. Rijuta Jagannathan is currently pursuing her master's in physics at St. Joseph's College, Bangalore. She has always had a liking for math and science. The 22-year-old found that many of the concepts she learned in her physics classes turned quite a few of life's myths into reality for her. Rijuta was fascinated with the subject and decided to take it up for her master's. I finally chose physics because uh, it satisfies this innate uh, curiosity in me. So the way you get to know how things work, and just just knowing how a rainbow is formed, and that that aha moment when you realize the explanation to some phenomenon. While a bachelor's degree in physics introduces students to the basic concepts of the science, a master's degree gives them a more in-depth understanding, not just theory, but even in research and lab work. students are exposed to advanced topics across various branches and sub specialties normally the students uh, take up the masters degree after their uh, bsc so in a sense they have been exposed to fundamental uh, you know concepts in physics across various disciplines but in a masters what happens is these concepts are taken to a higher level so typically the level uh, which they use has more mathematics has uh, more uh, connections with the modern day research has more connections with uh, how the field is evolving so in a sense the students are exposed to advanced topics and try to connect it to how the field is evolving and at the same time in the at the laboratory level the kind of equipment they use the kind of experiments they do are certainly at an advanced level specialization is an important aspect of a masters degree in physics While pursuing their masters, students can specialize in a number of branches and subspecialties like astrophysics, biophysics, medical physics and so on. Some masters program also offer a specialization. It could be in solid state physics, it could be in nuclear physics, it could be in uh, other areas of optics or uh, other specialized areas of astrophysics. So which means that uh, for example in the final year or the final semester they do uh, two or three specialized uh, courses in this subject and also take up a project it could be a small research project under the guidance of some uh, faculty member and then they get a specialized uh, uh, you know knowledge of that particular discipline a master's degree in physics opens up a plethora of job opportunities The list ranges from analysts, teachers to even scientists in areas as diverse as space science and industrial research. One could also venture into government departments such as defense, space and nuclear energy. That's all the time we have for you on today's show. Thank you so much for watching. Catch the heads up episodes you might have missed during the week at these times only on NDTV Prime.